now a completely formed uh, human being will will you know will will have 10 fingers and 10 toes uh, we however have situations or cases where you come across someone who has either more than 10 fingers or they have more than 10 toes and so on or probably they have the the, the five uh, fingers on one hand with another like baby finger almost or an extension that has grown or something like that and that disorder is called polydactyly and macrodactyly uh, polydactyly is a condition where a person is born with extra fingers either on, on, on the hands or toes on either one or both of their hands and feet. Uh, the way this condition presents can vary. It may appear as a small just extension, a raised up lump or a soft tissue and so on. And also it tends to actually run in families apparently. So you might find that if we have a person in that family, in that lineage who has, who happens to have, you know, those extensions or those extra little fingers and toes, realize that probably their children or their children's children and so on may also have that. So it's something that happens to run in families. It also may actually apparently uh, result in genetic mutations or just in some environmental causes may, may contribute to this happening. Now that was about polydactyly. Now for macrodactyly, for this one actually is a very uncommon one which where the baby's toes or fingers are abnormally large due to the overgrowth of the underlying bone and soft tissues. So we realize like maybe when a baby is born, the fingers or the toes are, are, are abnormally large. They look like, like, a, like double fingers and yet it's one. They're very, they're larger than, than the normal ones we are used to. And uh, one of the things that some that you need to understand, should you be a parent who will probably have a, a, a child or who has a baby that has this condition where the fingers or the toes are just abnormally large than they're supposed to be, this condition is not cancerous. Now, however, the larger fingers or the toes may make it hard for the child to use the affected hand, where, for example, let's say the thumb is abnormally big or the finger. So that child, while they grow up, they might find it difficult, say, for example, to handle uh, to, to hold something, to hold a pen, to hold a cup, and so on. And also, it might make it uh, difficult for probably their feet to comfortably fit in shoes or something like that. So, yeah, both of these ones are just conditions that revolve around, you know, uh, finger and toe tissues. Uh, well, like I said again, polydactyly is where uh, someone has more than the five fingers on a hand or the five toes on one foot. They have like extensions of other little fingers or they actually have six fingers and six toes on one on one foot and so on. So there's just that extra one. Whereas macrodactyly is where uh, the baby's toes or the, the child's fingers are abnormally large due to overgrown of the, uh, the underlying bone or the soft tissue. So the fingers just look a little larger than they're supposed to be. You might think it's a combination of two, but it's just one. So yes, I thought I needed to mention that um, a very brief um, uh, issue there because truth be told, we have this, we have this, we have witnessed this. Uh, you've definitely come across someone, probably a schoolmate, probably a neighbor, neighbor's child and so on, who just happens to have either more than the normal number of fingers or toes. Uh, and, and that sometimes can also work on their self-esteem. Imagine now like a child who has six toes. You know, that makes it difficult for them to fit in a shoe. Such a person will want to, you know, always put on closed shoes to cover that, you know, and so on. Uh, such a person will always want to have their, their hands pocketed, you know, to just keep their hands off from being seen and so on. So... Yeah, uh, it can actually work on, on a child's uh, self-esteem and so on. And again, like, uh, like I just mentioned, depending on how, how grown it is, it might actually also stand in their way of them being comfortable to write and, and just writing comfortably or holding something comfortably and so on. So yeah, just some of these very, you know, um, 
not commonly talked about disorders or, or uh, just abnormalities that can really be a big deal, especially to the person who lives with it. And again, like we said, uh, this, these extensions or these extra fingers and toes are not cancerous, uh, number one. Number two, they can be handled uh, at a very early age. Like say, if a child is born with that extra finger and so on, during that early age, actually, they can they can go through a procedure where where it will be cut off and you know, uh, be made not to grow again and so on. Although in some instances, some of them will really grow and so on. So it's something that can be medically taken care of uh, if it's if it's properly handled. So yeah, Santi Sana, I thought I needed to mention those two very <laughs> difficult words, but I hope just someone gets to to learn something there uh, that. Um, a, a, a person who happens to have that extra finger or, or toad is not less of a human being. They are very complete. They are human. They are capable like any other person. And number two, they are not at, at risk of them having cancer because of those finger extensions and, and toe extensions. Okay, Asante Sana, uh, share your experience if you have such or you've come across such and did you even know that uh, that uh, this can be medically corrected and uh, just how you handled it. And if you haven't, please drop me a comment to just tell me in case now you have learned something new.